epic music just never ends. Not that it's bad, though. Oh, I took damage this level. That sucks. What's up, everybody? Badass Games. Welcome to my 5,000 subscriber special. I'm going to be redoing my Tomb Raider walkthrough, this time with better graphics, better audio, no med pack run. It's going to be awesome. Um, this is how I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be releasing one episode of Tomb Raider for every 100 subscribers that I make after 5,000. So, uh, we're going to see the first episode today, and then at 5,100, we'll see my next level, and then 5,200, we'll see the next level. So, so on and so forth. That's how this is going to be done. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going <laughs> to check out this demo mode. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's go back to the menu. Okay, so I'm going to describe some of the stuff we see here. Basically, you got this game book, and this is going to allow you to start the game, or if you've already got a game in progress, let you load the game. And uh, we also have a thing where you can adjust the sound effects or the music of the game. You can adjust the screen. I really don't need to do that, so I'm not going to do that. And the controls actually is really important. You can set the control method, one, two, or three. And um, one is the default. It's the way that it is for all Tomb Raiders up through five. I'm not too sure about Angel of Darkness uh, or Legend or whatever, but those are kind of different games in the, anyway. Uh, so take note as to what you see here because these become very important, and I'll explain these as I go. Um, here is Lara's home. I won't be doing Lara's home, but you can go there and she'll teach you some of the moves that she can do. It's actually a pretty decent walkthrough, pretty decent tutorial, and teach you how to uh, get through the game. Everything that she shows you is what you're going to need to get through the game, with the exception of shooting the weapons. Okay, so without for oh man, I just went right into another demo. Okay, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go into the first level known as caves. Okay, and here we are at the entrance to the cave that we uh, just entered, and uh, behind us is the doorway. Uh, we can't go back out there clearly, but it's uh, pretty cool looking. Um, they got the whole uh, glitch thing going on. Pretty cool. So anyway. You can use, I'm going to teach you some about the controls, you can use the D-pad to move around, use left and right to turn, use forward to move forward and back to jump backwards. Now there's a couple of other things you can do with the directions. You can actually move forward and press left and right in order to veer her left and right. You can tap backwards and also use left and right to veer her left and right. Um, a couple of other moves that she can do is if you press the, the square button she will jump, if you press the circle button she will roll and turn around, um, and if you press triangle she will draw her weapons, and with her weapons drawn if you press the X button she will fire them. Okay, let's put those away and let's go ahead and head forward through this level. Now the first thing that you're going to encounter in the entire Tomb Raider series when you play the first game is a dart trap. What you want to do here is you actually want to just run and jump, and she actually avoids all the damage from that. Um, she, now, another thing that you might want to notice is that when you jump, she uh, actually moves a little bit faster. She's going to look up there to the left, and we want to we do want to go that way eventually, but for now we want to bypass that. We, we want to keep going straight into this large room, because we're going to go into a secret. Now, I'm going to teach you a couple of other things that she can do uh, with uh, her arsenal. I didn't show you, but you can press, if you press jump while she's running, she will eventually jump. Now, there's a timing factor occurred occurring with this jump. She will jump whenever she puts her foot, one of her feet, on the ground. So if you press forward and jump, she will wait until she puts her foot on the ground before she actually jumps. And that's slightly different from some of the other Tomb Raiders that we've been playing. Okay, so another thing that she can do is she can, if she's holding forward and she's next to a wall that she can jump and grab, if you hold the action button, well, she doesn't work here. I'm completely retarded. But you can press jump and hold the action button. She'll grab the ledge. Okay, and you can, while you're on a ledge, you can press left and right, and she will shimmy left and right. Um, that's, uh, some of, this is some of the stuff that she shows you in the tutorial. Now, one thing that we're going to uh, encounter here, also, is a sliding platform. Laura will slide off. You can't stand on it. You can't stop yourself from sliding, and that's going to result in a lot of deaths, by the way. So what we want to do here, this is actually going to get us to a secret. If you see the opening up there. One thing that we can do with the slope platform is jump, though, and that we will jump in the direction that she is sliding. So in order to get this secret, we want to pull ourselves up and jump and hold the action button while we're in the air to grab the next ledge. Press up, and she'll pull herself up into the secret. If we go over here, we'll be standing on top of a small med pack. In order to pick items up in this game, you want to stand on top of them and, hold, and press the action button. She will pick it up, and it becomes 
part of her inventory. As you notice, we have one small medi pack, is what they call them. Uh, I don't like the word medi pack. I'm gonna be called the med packs. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave this area. Still using some of the uh, stuff that we uh, that I just taught you. Now, uh, this is what I was trying to explain before: is that if you're on a ledge, that she can't just walk up. If you press forward and hold action, she will automatically put herself to the top of that. We can do that again here. And there we go. Now, when we get in here, in this hallway right here, there's going to be some uh, our first enemy that we're going to encounter. So go ahead and draw your pistols. They're bats, and they're very easy. You just take one shot apiece from your pistols, from your dual pistols to kill them. Once all three of them are dead, we don't want to go down the hallway that they came from just yet. We will go there eventually. What we want to go to is to the left. This is going to give us access to the next secret of the level, secret two. And in this case, you'll see this uh, ledge up there, and you'll think, okay, well, I could probably jump and grab this ledge. Well, no, you can't. For some reason, they programmed it so that you can't actually grab this ledge. What you need to do is you need to sidestep, which, by the way, I haven't explained yet. The two uh, trigger buttons on your con on your controller, R2 and L2, will make you sidestep left and right in this game. So that way you can uh, adjust yourself properly. You don't have to turn and then tap forward and then do that. Another thing you can do is you can hold the walk button and she will walk forward. You can't use the walk button to uh, sidestep though. Um, one last thing that she can do uh, with the uh, buttons on her controller is she can look around. If you hold the look button, which is L1 in this case, she will uh, look when you press the D-pad, she'll look around the room. And that becomes very handy if you're trying to explore and try to look around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this secret. In order to get this secret, like I showed you, we can't grab the ledge. We want to hold forward and press the action button, just like we were doing. She will jump and grab that ledge, pull herself up into the secret. There's a bat up here, so let's kill him. Drop him to the ground and go pick the med pack up that's in this secret. That's all that's in here. Now that we have these things and a dead bat, let's go ahead and leave and go down that hallway. Okay, so that basically covers a lot of the stuff that you'll be doing, with the exception of swimming. And there's a couple of finesse moves, which I'll explain um, next when it comes to uh, just basically looking good when you play, I guess, if you really want to. there's um, She can do a handstand when you pull up on stuff, and when I get to another ledge that I need to, I'll do a handstand and show you guys how to do it, and we'll be uh, good to go from there. Okay, so where we want to go from here is we want to go toward this green patch over here. We're going to fall down in this hole. We're going to come to a door and we're going to encounter our first switch in the game. Um, let me explain a little bit something about the doors in the Tomb Raider, uh, Tomb Raider series. At least for Tomb Raiders 1 through 5, if you run into a door and she continues to run, that means it is a door. That means she can eventually open it, possibly open it. Uh, regardless, it does mean that that is a door and it can move out of the way. So in this case, we can actually open this door. If we run into anything, any other wall, she will just run into it and be like, Ooh, oh, that hurt. Okay, but in order to open this door, clearly you see a switch right here. In order to actuate these switches, you stand in front of it and press the action button. And the doors will open. Let's take our pistols out with the triangle button and shoot the bat that's flying around. And you'll encounter this uh, wooden gate right here. We're going to bypass that for now. Uh, well, actually, we're, we're going to get on the other side of that eventually. We want to come over here and we want to vault up on this ledge. Now, this is the ledge that we can do a handstand on. You can do these on any ledges that you want. What you want to do is you want to hold the walk button while holding the action button and press up. And then Lara will do a handstand. It takes a lot longer, but um, it's pretty nifty regardless. Okay, so now that we've done, now that we're up here, let's go ahead and go around this stone and into the next section. When we come into this area, we're going to see these two bridges. We kind of want to stay up the top here, but we also notice that there is a wolf down there. There's two of them, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot them away. We're going to need to... Oh, she pointed at the other one, too. Come on over here, buddy. Where'd you go? Get your... There you go. Get what's coming to you, buddy. Okay, so now that we've taken care of them, we can uh, traverse this, this bridge here. Uh, the proper way, I guess what they wanted you to do was uh, run across this. There are other easier ways to do this, though. And now we can run across this bridge. Like I said, oh, what I was trying to say is that there is quicker ways to do this. You don't have to run across the bridge this way. You can actually fall down in there and fight the wolves if you want. And you can eventually hop out. And then we'll run across this bridge right here. Now we're going to enter another area. 
And we're going to come back into this section after we do what we need to do in here. We're going to come across this gap. Okay, and eventually you, we will jump this gap, but for now, we want to bypass that save crystal, which is what we see up there in front. Down below is a bear. Let's go ahead and take him out if we can get a lock on him. Now, let me talk about targeting in this game. She automatically targets the targets that she wants to attack. I'm not sure if you can change them with the look button. I'll verify that later if I can. Um, a cool thing about Tomb Raiders 1 through 3 is that when she has a lock on somebody, on an enemy, and you hold the action button, she will not lose the lock, and she will... She will quit firing when the when she can't fire on the enemy, and when they come back into range, she will fire at them again. So in this case, I'm holding the action button, and the bear runs away. I can't target it, so but I'm still locked onto it. When it comes into range, I I'm able to get some shots off onto it. Okay, now that the bear is dead, let's fall down in here. There's a bat. Let's take him out, and another uh, there's another bat right there as well. So now that we've gotten those things out of the way, let's go over here. There's a small med pack over here in this corner. And what you heard just now was this door right here opening. As you can see, it is a door. I'm running into it. What we want to do to open that is stand on this pressure plate. The door will open and will it will let us into the next section. And here's the two wolves that we killed. We were just in this room. What we want to do is we want to get out of here. Now, the way that they want you to go is... Where is it? It's over here somewhere. I believe that's it right over there. Yeah. They want you to climb up there and go across the bridges again. But there's a little trick that you can do in order to uh, jump and grab this ledge right here. Um, this trick works for any ledges that you want to grab that are above you, but they don't have like a defined wall that you can run into and hold the action button to climb up. What you can do is you can stand anywhere in the middle of the tile or just in front of it, press the, hold, press the jump button, hold forward in action in order to try to grab the ledge. She will inch her way to the very front. She'll inch her way forward, eventually grab the ledge and pull up. So that's something you can use to uh, get access to ledges that you aren't able to run into a wall to grab. Okay, now that we've done all of this, we can hop this gap and save our game. So let's do that. These are save crystals. These are what they have in the PlayStation versions that allow you to save your game. Um, the PC version, I believe you can save your game at any point. Well, the PlayStation version does not have that luxury. And in fact, you can only save at these save crystals once. So I'm going to go ahead and use the save crystal to save my game. Okay, the game is saved. And as you can see, I consumed the save crystal, which means I can't do it again here. Uh, everything that I do from here on, I can't save my progress until I come across another save crystal. Um, kind of a cool little feature. I, I kind of enjoy the challenge of that, whereas PC... PC guys have it lucky where they can save whatever they want, you know, if they make it through a hop and they need to save it because they're afraid of doing the next hop and so on and so forth, then they can do that, whereas we do not have that luxury. Okay, over here to the left, after we grab the save crystals, a small med pack, so let's grab that. And now we want to go down this these steps that they have provided for us. There's nothing else in the darkness. Now we're going to go into this room and we're going to see some wolves. We're going to get some epic music. We want to take these wolves out. There's two of them. And once they're gone, we can go and get a secret. Now, this music plays forever. I'm going to go actually go get the secret and cause it to stop. Oh, I didn't get my jump right. Well, while I'm down here, I'll just go get another med pack that is over here in this corner. Right here. Oh. See, if you don't stop, if you can't use the action button to pick up the, the item, then you need to use your side steps and your walk in order to get on top of the item to pick it up. Now that we have that, let's go and get that secret that I missed. The jumping is a little bit different in this game compared to, I think, Tomb Raider 2s and 3 and so on and so forth, where she uh, jumps when she plants her foot on the ground. The other ones aren't nearly as strict with that. Okay, so I ran jump over to this ledge, and inside of this room is a secret. And again, we will find another item in here, a large med pack. I believe it is true that all the secrets in this game contain some sort of item. There's no empty secrets. Now that we've got that, let's fall back down into this room. We're going to go over here and flip this switch that you can see up over there. Um, this is a timed switch, so we need to hurry up after we flip that thing and get into the, uh, the door that's going to open when we do that. So let's vault up here and let's run to the switch and pull this thing. Now that's pulled, it shows you the door that's opened. It's, we got to hurry up and get over there. They give you plenty of time, so you really don't have to worry too much about it, but... Just be quick and you'll eventually 
make it in there. Now we're going to encounter another dart trap. And the same thing as before, just run and jump through it. And you should avoid the damage. Okay, once we're through there, there's another wolf we are going to encounter. And we're going to cause it to perish. And now we got to go through uh, these this hole in the floor. Now, it doesn't look like there's a hole there, but there is a little glitchy tile here. And what that means is that if you stand on it, it's going to fall through. Now, not all tiles like this are friendly, okay? Some of them lead to spikes eventually later in the game, so we need to be careful. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head over to the next section. We need to run up the... If you go over here, you'll see that there's this trench down here, okay? We don't need to go down there just yet. If you do get down there, there's a way to climb up over there, but you have to run all the way back over this direction in order to get back to the switch we need to pull. There's a door down there that's closed right now. We need to open it. So we're going to run and jump our way over to here, and we're going to pull the switch. Now, there's going to be a wolf that spawns when we get here. We get some epic music again. Don't worry about grabbing the, the large med pack just yet. Let's kill the wolf for, first. The wolves take four shots from the dual pistols, by the way. Okay, so we find the switch here. Let's pull this thing. It's going to open the door. And that door is the end of the level. Epic music just never ends. Not that it's bad, though. Oh, I took damage this level. That sucks. Oh, well. Let's run into this room and end the level. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my video. I will see you guys in the next video. I am Badass Games. Take it easy.